This is John Ballard. House of Rats. And I'm going to show you some projects that's going on here. I'll show you a few changes I've made to my car. You've seen videos of my car. I've added teeth, a tongue, re kind of painted some other stuff on it, put some horns on it. That's my new overflow. And I've put me some zoomies on here. These are actually two left handed headers I had to cut up with some load locks from a big truck that I had to put on here. And I've also changed the breather from what it used to be. I got this here breather that I actually put another uh, air scoop on. It's got lights up inside it. And right there, you see there's no shifter, but the shifter's hanging over there on the wall. I'll show you the shifter. And I may change the tank. I don't know yet. I'm going to see what I got to do there. This is the shifter here. Right here is the shifter. You just get down there, click what you need, and you're good to go. This is my daughter's project that I'm working on here. It's a 49, 50 model Ford, somewhere along in there. And uh, we're going to rat it out. Yeah, we're going to rat it out, and uh, it's actually going to go, I'll show you in a minute, over there on the Chevrolet frame next to that 68. This frame here was the original Ford frame, and my son is going to use it. This is his grill. This is a, uh, somewhere in the 40s uh, KB6 grill. It's huge. It's really going to make an awesome rat. It's going to leave the straight axle where it is. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a Buick 350 and a Turbo 350 in for the power plant, and he's working on getting a uh, Camaro rear end, possibly Posi Track. And this is the cab he's got. Now he did good on this. He bought this cab. He bought this cab, the headlights, the hood, and the grill, all for three hundred fifty dollars. That's cheap. That's cheap. And look how good look how good a shape it is. Now the seat wasn't in it. But he's painted it, the window crank works, all the floorboard is good, and we're going to use the original steering, but we're going to cut it off up here and put a modern steering, but we're going to use the same steering box that's got right there on the Ford over there. And uh, this is my, this is my other daughter's truck, and uh, it's a 37 International. And they only made this one here for a couple of years. It's 37 to 40. I think 40 was the last year that they made this here certain particular body. Now it's basically looks a lot like that one over there. But if you see right here where the hood goes, it's got more of a slant than the KB6 does. And uh, I've got to I've got to get a frame for it. I've got one that I'm working on now. I'm, I, I think I'm going to put it on a Ford frame. I've just got to get the work done so I can get the frame to put it on. And um, we'll probably have a Chevrolet power plant in this one here. And it's it's in really pretty good shape. It's, it's not bad. And we paid $200 for this cab here. Now this is a 1936... This is a 1936 Ford two-door sedan. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they called them hump butts, I, I, hump backs or something like that. I don't know what it is. Now, we bought this particular car for $100. And this is, like I said, this is going to be my daughter, my other daughter's. And uh, I think I've got a frame for it. And we're going to put a Chevrolet in it, too. And uh, as you see, the floorboard's in real good shape in this one here. It's not bad at all. And... Uh, it's going to make it, we, we got to do a lot of work on it. As you see, the roof is real rough, but we can get all that out of there. It's old hard metal. It comes out real easy. The same girl that's got this project right here, this is her Camaro. Uh, I'm thinking it's an 85, 84, somewhere along in there. Now, it runs, but we got to put a transmission in it. 
uh, the transmission went out. <laughs> this is my wife's car. And it is the same year that one is. It's a 36 Ford. But now this one, we got the frame, fenders, everything. Everything come with this car here. Now we had to pay $400 for this one. But as you can see, we got an extra door with it. Uh, it's The dash is pretty good. Got extra running boards and you can even see the old seat panels back there. Uh, now for this one, I've got a 1950, 50 or 51 Chevrolet frame. I'm gonna set this body here on and we will power it with a Chevrolet. That's definitely for sure. We will power it with a Chevrolet. This is my this is my wife's here, by the way, too. This is my wife's. And uh, this here, this little bug right here, we're going to chop it down and we're going to make a roaster. We're going to cut the front end off of it. And we're going to make it look like a 32 roaster. We're going to cut the top, cut it all the way back, do some sheet metal work to it, take the fenders off of it, and totally redo it. Now, I, this is my 11-year-old's. And uh, she belongs to the Road Hazard Car Club, which I do too. My dad does. My dad's got a 40 model rat. That car over there that I have is a 36. And uh, over here, this is my other daughter's car that's got the international cab. This is her pickup I give her. This is a 68 Chevrolet. I got to rebuild the motor in it. That's all that's wrong with it. And this clip right here belongs to my other daughter that's building the Ford pickup out there. Now I have got to integrate the grill and they want to use the original hood that come off the International and I've got to make it work on the on the 50 Model 4 but that ain't no big deal. This is the frame they're going to use for the 50 Model Ford. We're going to Z it and uh, set the cab down low and uh, we're going to chop their bed. They want a bobber bed like mine. Now my son that's got the International down there he wants a stretched out frame. So we're gonna stretch his out. He's gonna have basically a, probably a five foot bed, six foot bed, somewhere along in there when it's all said and done. And uh, this, this is my building that my dad just gave me. I did have all my tools in the house. But as you can see, now all my tools are in here. I have a plasma cutter, a two, uh, 220 welder, 220 stick welder, air compressor, and tons of tools over here, tons of air tools, tons of electric tools, everything I need to do what I do. I don't just work on my cars, I work on other cars too. I do other stuff for other people. And there's a cutting torch set there. I got the cutting torch bottles there, and there's my motor stand and everything there. But uh, this is going to be awesome when we get it done here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do here in a day or two, I'm going to pull these old mounts out that had the six cylinder in this board. And we even got the six cylinder and it's free, which is cool because we got a big tote motor up there at the shop. I'll see if I can zoom in on it where you can see it. You can see the, the mass of it. Yeah, there, there's the mass of it. And, uh, Let's see here. Yeah, right there. That's the mass of the tote motor there. Uh, that tote motor, that particular tote motor, will pick up a car like it's not even there. As you see, we got our own little salvage yard out here. And we're talking about getting some more cars because we're about used up. Now, up there, I know that little Ford Mustang right there, that is going to be the components, the rear end and the front end, the axle, the front front suspension, is all going to go underneath this little Volkswagen for my daughter's Roadster. We're going to use the seats out of it for uh, one of my, the wife's car for the back seat. We're going to use the back seat out of it. We're going to use everything in that little car right there. There won't be hardly anything left of it. And as you can see, there is House of Rat. Yes. It took, it took me a little over, it took me about a year to build this car here and I've added some stuff to the tail lights on it. And uh, everywhere I go, I got people want to take pictures or want to know how I've done it or what I did to it. I can't go anywhere that I don't get questioned about this car. This is a very unique car. A very unique car. It's got these rails here are actually off a boat. 
those are boat rails, those aren't even, even rails. Uh, these wheels here, these are wheels that we had out in the yard. I, I have a whopping $500 in this car, but I've done all the work myself. Now that's that's excluding, uh, well that's probably my welding, the welding gas and everything else that was used, because we've been using that spool of wire now for two or three years. We haven't even used it up yet. And uh, I just I just acquired an airbrush and an airbrush compressor. This here was hand painted, but I'm going to try to get to where I can airbrush. Uh, this is a genuine old horn here that's been added on. I have a phony horn. I have a, the horn that really does work underneath the grill shell here. And uh, these are 59 GMC headlights. And the skull is actually made out of uh, 40 model Ford fenders, Chevrolet lifters, and uh, the, the wings on the side of the head are actually off another piece of metal, something else. I couldn't even tell you what it is. And uh, the grill is Dodge. This bumper is springs from the original car. And the side places on here that come down and hide the frame, those are actually 40 model Ford fenders too. And uh, like I said, I changed up these exhausts and went to this here system that I have now, and it works real good. Um, I've added a stereo. There's my speakers, and there's my radio. I got it up inside the top of the roof. I have no window, so I have to. I had to put it where it was best to, to put it at, do it at. There's my radio right there. Awesome. Yes, it's awesome. And uh, that is about it from the House of Rats. So I hope that you uh, enjoy this or if you got any questions or anything about how I did something, uh, you, can, you, can, you can ask me and I'll tell you. I also changed up the rear end of this. I did have just leaf springs and I had a hook up on the top. Uh, actually, I have tie rod ends on here that tie this all together it's in my it's on some of my film you can see when I'm putting it together but now I've took apart some uh, maxi brakes on big trucks they have little springs and they're like coal springs and I took some Camaro perches off a of Camaro rear end we had and uh, welded them to this rear end and welded my springs up put my springs up in here and now it rides a whole lot better than it did it used to be like a hard tail bike but it's no longer a hard tail it, it rides real good so if uh, anybody's got any comments or want to know something or how I did it hey I'm all there y'all be good